Every practice who does anterior segment surgery does the egg capsulotomies uh, and you have to do high numbers. After two to three years, almost every patient uh, has to have a yak capsulotomy, even ed lenses with sharp edges will eventually get uh, a secondary cataract. And it is an easy procedure and I personally do about 600 every year. And these days, with all those premium lenses, clear lens extractions, younger patients getting uh, uh, surgery, they have to have a perfect YAC capsulotomy. They get premium lenses uh, and they need a premium YAC capsulotomy. Uh, in my uh, floater clinic, I quite often see patients that have had a YAC capsulotomy, where during the YAC capsulotomy, floater have been created. Uh, so, an iatrogenic floaters, my type 5 uh, floaters. For instance, uh, what leads to floaters very often is the so-called can opener technique. You just cut across uh, a circle and cut the uh, capsule out and you just leave it in, in the vitreous. And it shrinks together and sometimes there, there is a lot of epithelium still on it growing and it can bump around like a ping pong ball in, in UI. And uh, that can be very disturbing for the patient. Here, I show you an example of a patient showed up a year after the YAC capsulotomy and he said, I'm, I'm seeing a ghost, a shadow uh, in my vitreous field all day long. I, I looked at the eye and saw a capsule, a remnant of the capsule just floating up and down as you can see on the image. This cast the shadow onto the retina, what you can see here in the, in the Optos image and uh, you see down on the right side the shadow of that uh, floater and now after the treatment that shadow is gone. This is not necessary actually uh, if you do the YAC uh, treatment uh, correctly. I decided to go for Alex because the visibility is so much uh, superior to, to other lasers on the market. The illumination beam is coaxial to the treatments and observation beams and uh, you can see details you have never seen with other YAC lasers. Uh, quite often you're just blinded by, by the red targeting lights and you get reflections and you can hardly see what you're doing. But with this laser, you have a fantastic visibility behind the lens. Let me show you what, what I can do with that laser. Look at this image. You, you see a triangle. And you can transform the capsulotti in, in a quadrangle or even into a six angle, which is my, my favorite uh, choice when I do yak capsulotomies right now. I have never been able to achieve this with other lasers. You can see here, you place the laser in the angle and you defocus it by two millimeters and it, it's just like cutting uh, wood logs. Then you go to the next angle and you open it until you're happy with the shape. And finally, you clean all the edges from the epithelium and then you get such a nice result like what you see here on those images. By defocusing it by one to two millimeters, you're far away from the aisle and I basically, I, I hardly ever have pitting and I'm so happy about that.